After you log in and select your app, you're greeted with the overview page. This is your home base and a great jumping off point. We can easily adjust the visible time frame to relative times or select specific times in the past. Any changes made here will apply to different views throughout the app. We'll highlight this particular time segment. We can click in to view the most interesting endpoints during this time period. Every instrumented sub-event or method call of this endpoint is broken down into the most relevant. These values are averages for all observed hits on this endpoint over the selected time period. If we click this dropdown on methods that interface with the database, we're able to see the specific SQL queries that are executed. Scout also collects a sampling of traces, which we can view in a list here. Notice how we can see the full URIs. We'll take a look at some example traces shortly. Let's head back to the overview page. Now, this N plus 1 Insights tab highlights areas where we detected N plus 1 database queries. These are often easily fixed by eager loading and can provide a huge performance boost to your application when resolved. Clicking into one of these will take us to a specific trace where an N plus 1 insight occurred. The red badge highlights the method in which we detected the issue. We can view the exact SQL statement that was executed and even see the backtrace with our GitHub integration. In addition to finding N plus 1 queries, Scout will also automatically detect and highlight slow queries. We'll find any memory bloats, as well as gather errors. It doesn't look like there's any for this time period, so we'll deselect that time window, and now we can see a few. We also store a history of all generated insights, as well as their associated traces. Switching away from the overview page to the Web Endpoints tab, these are also sorted by overall time consumed for the selected time range. Same goes for the Background Jobs tab. The database view lists queries ranked by consume time, showing throughput and average response times, as well as anomalous database events and usage spikes. Again, we're able to see the exact SQL statement being executed. We also have an External Services tab, which ranks and charts the consumption time and throughput of external services, grouped by the endpoint or background job that reached out to them. Let's drill into this controller that makes it called the Stripe. We're seeing some recently sampled traces for this controller. Let's take a look at this one. This is the timeline view. It shows all the calls that were made in the resolution of this endpoint. If we tab over to view context, we can see some custom context that we've set up. In this instance, we're attaching the email of the impacted customer to the trace. Scout provides many other features, including custom alerting and SLA reporting. You can see how Scout provides easily understood, actionable insights, clean and quick charting, and powerful trace analysis. Scout gives developers the power to quickly identify and address hidden performance bottlenecks.